Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Master Wolf and here bringing you a game called It Moves. Now I don't know, all I know about this game is it's about a little kid who has to deal with monsters. Bedtime. Bedtime is supposed to be a happy event for a tired child. For me, it was terrifying. While some children might complain about being put to bed before they have finished watching a film or playing their favorite video game, when I was a child, nighttime was something to truly fear. Something in the back of my mind is still... Still is? This is me. Hi, me. How you doing? Alright, so you look a lot older. I was expecting a child. Poster from a movie I got... I got it from my brother. I was expecting a child. You must be the grown-up child. Full of toys and stuff. Nope, you're still a child. Mr. Teddy, yeah, you're very much a child. It's a wolf. Congratulations, you have a wolf. It's a bunk bed. I sleep in the top. Who sleeps in the bottom? Unless you use a bunk bed all by yourself. I cannot prove that what happened to me was objectively real. But I can swear that what I experienced was genuine horror. A fear which in my life, I'm glad to say, has never been equal equaled. I will relate it to you all now as best I can. Make of it what... Ugh. But I'll be glad to just get it off my chest. Hold on, my mouth is dry. I need some water. And you know what? I'm leaving that in the video, so... Yeah. Oh, damn it. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, who's up there? Is that Daddy? This is my brother's room. He told me yesterday to keep out of the room that we both had shared until then. Okay. Fine, I won't go in your brother's room. Who are you? This is my father. He is a statue. He never moves. It's a very strange relationship we have here. Shoes. That's very interesting. He's always blocking this door, too. Never could figure out how to get past him. Anything down here? Alright, I guess we're going to the only room we have access to. I can't remember exactly when it started, but my appreciation, apprehension towards falling asleep seemed to correspond with me being moved into a room of my own. Uh. Okay, so you got a room of your own and you started getting to- So are you still a child or are you adult form right now? This is my mother. She is also a statue. Mom told me not to touch her stuff, especially this stuff. Okay. Mommy is weird. Just a bunch of clothes in here. A man with a mustache. I don't see a mustache. Ventilation. I think mom said this is. Why are you bouncing around? Mommy is weird, so is daddy going to be... I was eight years old at the time, and until then I had shared a room, quite happily, with my older brother. As is perf perfectly understandable for a bo boy five years my senior, my brother eventually wished for a room of his own, and as a result, I was given the room at the back of the house. As my brother was given a new bed, I was given the bunk beds, which we used to share. While I was upset about sleeping on my own, I was excited at the thought of being able to sleep in the top bunk, which seemed far more adventurous to me. Of course! Can I go bo bother brother now? It's locked, stupid bro. Oh, I said that. Oh, we're back in here. What are we doing in... What are you doing? Don't answer that. What's the point of knocking if you're just gonna barge in anyways? All right, it's bedtime. Already? Yes. Adults need their sleep. You see, you'll be sleeping alone for the first time. You excited? Yes, Mom. You are still a child. You're a very big child. Up, oh, right straight up to the top bunk. That's where I'd choose to. All right, I'm turning off the lights. Good night. Good night. I admit... A fantastic glow when there is no other brightness. Okay, what's going to eat me? Chapter 1. The cave. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, let's go. Come on, let me play. What the sh... I suppose we should save. Wait, what? I went to sleep. Why am I out here? Um, okay. Hi. You wanna say Wait, wait, wait. Oh, you're you're on this thing. 
Oh, uh, you're not going to question the giant monster that's up there? Or the giant dragonfly? That's apparently as big as me. Hi. Oh, my. <laughs> what? What? A pot and some rug ragged cloth. I wonder what's cooking. Me. Hi. Hi. Stalking is such a strong word. I prefer to think of it as more as intense research on one individual. By the way, your missing sock is under your bed with me. Just kidding. Well, that's creepy. That's creepy. A cold, unwelcoming breeze comes from the bottom of the stairs. Can I save? Save? How do I save? Load and quit. Where's my save feature? Eh, crap. Eh, crap. Well, we're going down. We're going down. Do I have a run? I don't have a run. What is that? Weird mushroom. Looks poisonous. Let's eat it. Um, um, um. I saw that shiny. I see lots of shinies. Something going to eat me. What is that? Looks like a brain. A purple mushroom. Definitely poisonous. Well, of course. I'm sorry. There is red liquid seeping out from the mu mushroom hat. I'm sure it's blood. Maybe it's ketchup. Maybe it's uh, seasoning itself. I don't know. Uh, Nothing here. Something is going to end up chasing me, isn't it? Hi, face! How are you doing? What? Okay, are these buttons? These are buttons. They are. Oh, no, it's puzzle. I can't handle puzzle. I did it! Okay. Back to the adventure on... What the hell is that? What? What's hunting me down? What's crying out in pain? I don't know what's happening anymore. Hi! How are you doing? You're not after me, are you? Maybe I should have explored the outside the house a little more. I wasn't expecting to run through my wildest nightmares underneath my bed. I'm going to fall, aren't I? I don't have a run feature, all I can do is push right. Hi, how are you doing? I don't have a run, I can't run. How do I run? Game? 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 I don't know how to run. I'm gonna be mad if I die if I died. I hear birds, that's a good sound. That's a good sign. That's might be okay. Mom, I had a bad dream. I'm a big old man child. Mom? Up, oh, mommy died. Mommy, are you alive? Hi, brother. Uh I don't wanna visit you anyways. Mommy! <clears throat> ah. Well, while you guys are sleeping, I'm exploring. Mm, fine. Can I leave? Uh, Alright, let's go wake up Mommy. Mommy! Mom, I had a bad dream. Wake up. Oh, I apologize if you heard that. Sweetie, what's wrong? You had a... I had a bad dream. Aw, that's too bad, sweetie. I'll be up in a minute and we can eat breakfast together. All right, hurry up. Go change your clothes and I'll be right there. Did you just tell your mom to hurry up? Daddy. Nope, daddy's not waking up for nothing. You don't care, what's that? <clears throat> okay. Thought I saw a key on there. So I'm supposed to go get changed. Am I, am I seriously wearing pajamas? What, you don't get to watch him get naked? And so, another day started. 
it was a day of little importance to our story. I won't bother you with the details. The one thing I remember is that even though I played with friends like I always do, I somehow still felt lonely. I didn't enter my new room until later that night. It was time to go to bed again. Oh, I, I guess I got to go to bed. You know, a big old green arrow pointing my way. Back into my pajamas. Who wears pajamas? I still have control. Up, oh, up, oh, he's asleep. He's gone to sleep. Chapter 2 Labyrinth. 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 Save. Yeah, I would pretty much like to. Thank you. What the hell kind of downtown area did I swarm into? Why is there smiley faces on the wall? Button! That is a button. Why is there a button? That worked. Oh, uh, no, it's one of these puzzles. Why? I hate these puzzles. Uh, right, let's do that one. Do the ish one. Uh, this one. Damn it. Eh. Uh, yeah. And this one. And this one. I'm free! Why am I free? Why am I in a giant freaking noise? Well, I'm just going to follow along the wall here. And hopefully... What is that noise? What is that? A wanted poster. Oh, goody. Here's a wanted poster. Good, good thing you didn't show me a picture. Ventilation, maybe. The air is still stuffy, though. What is, what is that? What is that? Let's click this first. Poster from some concert. It looks old. Hi. Hello. Are you going to stay there the entire round now? That annoys me. That an Go away. Nobody... Go away. Nobody loves you. What was that? Looks like a fan. I s what the shit is that? Instructions on how to use a fire extinguisher. Okay. Why are you up there? Why are these frowny faces now? Well, that one's a frowny face. Ventilation, maybe the air. Oh. Okay, well, my, I, I don't know what to do. Um, can I actually head up through the, uh, this way? I can't, oh, uh, I assume I can't touch you. Oh, crap, you're coming after me. Oh, okay. Do I have to actually collect all of you? Oh, kitty! Oh, kitty! <laughs> Thank you, game. Uh, that was weird. When you awaken from a deep sleep to something moving or stirring, it can take a few moments for you to truly understand what is happening. The fog of sleep hangs over your eyes and ears, even when lucid. Something was moving. There was no doubt about it. At first, I wasn't sure what it was. Everything was dark, almost pitch black, but there was enough light creeping in from outside to outline that room. Two thoughts appeared in my mind almost simultaneously. The first was that my parents were in bed because of the, re the rest of the house lay both in darkness and silence. The second thought turned to the nose, noise, a noise which had obviously woken me. 
That was it. Bed sheets rustling in the dark and someone breathing. It's probably your brother sleeping on the bottom bunk. He's probably scared about having his own room. As if some disturbed sleeper was attempting to get all too comfortable in the bottom bunk. I lay there in disbelief, thinking that the noise was e either my imagination, or perhaps just my pet cat finding somewhere comfortable to sleep the night. It was then that I noticed my door, shut as it had been as, it, as I'd fallen asleep. Perhaps my mom had checked in on me and the cat had sneaked into my room then. How about you just look? Yeah, that must have been it. I turned to face a wall, closing my eyes in the vain hope that I could fall back asleep. As I moved, the rustling noise from underneath my bed, underneath me, ceased. I thought that I had, must have disturbed my cat, but quickly I realized that the visitor in the bottom bunk much was much less mundane than my pet trying to sleep, and much more sinister. As if altered to and disgruntled by my presence, the dis that the disturbed sleeper began to toss and turn violently, like a child having a tantrum in their bed. I could hear the sheets twist and turn with increasing ferocity. Fear then gripped me, not like the su sub subtle sense of unease I had experienced earlier, but now potent and terrifying. My heart raced as my eyes panicked, scanning the almost impenetrable darkness, a louder I cry. As most young boys do, I instinctively shouted on my mother. I could hear something stir on the other side of the house. But as I began to breathe a sigh of relief that my parents were coming to save me, the bunk beds suddenly started to shake violently, as if gripped by an earthquake scraping against the wall. I could hear the sheets below me thrashing around as if tormented by malice. I did not want to jump down to safety as I feared the thing in the bottom bunk would reach out and grab me, pulling me into the darkness, so I stayed there, white knuckles clenching, clenching my own blanket like a shroud of protection. The wait seemed like an eternity. God, that was intense. That was a hell of a lot more reading than I was expecting. Hold on, I need a drink of water. Holy crap. Alright. What's wrong? Did you have a bad dream? I cried, and my mother cons con consoled me. Tears of fear followed my re by relief streamed down my face. Yet through all the horror and relief, I did not tell her why I was so upset. I cannot explain it, but it was as though whatever had been in that bunk would return if I even so much as spoke of it. Whether that was the truth, I do not know, but as a child I felt as if that unseen malice remained close, listening. Close. My mother lay in the empty bunk, promising to stay there until morning. I remember the next day wanting to go anywhere, be anywhere, but in that suffocating room. God, that's a lot more reading. It was a Saturday, and I played outside, quite happily with my friends. Although my house was not large, we were lucky to have a long, sloping garden in the back. We played there often, as much as it was overgrown and we could hide in the bushes. Climb in the huge sycamore tree which towered above all else, and easily imagine ourselves in the throes of a grand adventure. As fun as it was, occasionally my eye would turn to that small window in my room. Ordinarily slight and in, but for me, that thin boundary was a looking glass into a strange, cold pocket of dread. Outside, the lush green surroundings of our garden filled with the smiling faces of my friends. Inside, the feeling of something in that room watching me play, waiting for the nights when I would be alone, eagerly filled with hate. It may sound strange to you, but by the time my parents ushered me back into that room for the night, I said nothing. I didn't protest. I didn't even make an excuse as to why I couldn't sleep there. I still felt that this thing would be en enraged if I so much as spoke of it. Another night came. God damn! This is very, very story heavy. Chapter 3. How long is this game? I've done about 20 minutes there. Oh. Hi. How are you doing? Yeah, let's save. 
Hi. <laughs> Glad to meet you. You know what? That's about 20 minutes worth of, worth of footage. And that was a lot more reading than I could handle. Oh, that is interesting. For a child being afraid of the dark, this is pretty deep. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to leave it there for today. Remember, this is Midmaster Wolf, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the video. Hit that subscribe button to see more content I do in the future. And as always, I'll see you in the, I'll see you in the next one. Do take care now.